These trucks loaded with donated hay from Kentucky farmers waited in line to unload at this distribution center. Trucker Gary Lawson brought hay from farmers more than an hour away because he felt compelled to pay it forward. About the closest that I can say I could relate to it back in 2017, uh, our home burned. And they was, uh, there was a lot of folks pitched in and helped and clean up and this, that and everything. And so you just try to repay the favor. The donations were organized by the Mountain Cattlemen's Association, a nine county organization to gather and distribute the items to counties in the area. So we came up with the idea of how can we help the farmers because everybody thinks about the people involved, which is catastrophic, but also there's a catastrophic end to the livestock end of it. And so that's what we're doing here. This building here, which is owned by the Breathitt County Industrial Authority, has become a staging area for the hay, feed and fencing and other farm supplies that have been donated for farmers in this county and other counties to come and pick up. This is by it. This is really by it. Uh, UK Extension Agriculture folks, Agents Charles Bay and Reed Graham okay. are from two of the, the hardest hit counties, Breathitt and Perry, where flooding swept away homes and took lives. Both have worked tirelessly since the flooding to help the people they serve. Um, immediately we just started sending texts and messages and calling folks that um, I hoped weren't impacted but then come to find out for the most part were impacted by the flood and uh, then from there you know we just started talking to donors um, you know people wanted to bring stuff here almost immediately. But everybody's got a goat, a horse, uh, chickens and, and it just you know devastated them literally some to farms totally gone. I mean, lost everything. I heard a, a producer lost a whole barn full of goats. The goats don't like to get wet, and they ran in the barn, tried to get them out, and just the barn got washed off. It's really unbelievable if you sit and watch it come up and what the damage it's done. One farmer helped by the donations was D.J. Fugit. His barn was under the most water he had ever seen, but remained grateful. I've lost fences, stuff around my barn, materials, fence posts, and stuff like that, but that's nothing. I've still got a roof over the top of my head. My family does. All my family's safe. You know, people's out here that's hurting a lot worse. They've lost their homes, their livestock, barns, everything. Officials say recovery for those affected by the flooding will likely take months and even years to overcome. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.